Hey y'all! Oh my gosh, I literally haven't done this in so long. This is insane. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is going to be a day in my life, which is so awesome. And I'm so excited that you guys get to be here and join me. And we just sort of get to talk about all that fun stuff. So in this video, I'm just going to be going through my day, a day in my life, a day in my Wednesday. And I also answer a couple questions. You guys come with me to youth group. So just stick along for the ride. I know it gets a little bit crazy at some points. I swear it gets better. I also want you guys to hit that subscribe button obviously is that even a question so let's go through my wednesday day in my life was it this way i think it's this way here is what is currently going on what are we currently doing so i just got home from dance which is exciting I just got packaged from ulta which is exciting so let's open up this package that I got because I'm really nervous because it could either go like really good or really bad. Okay, so here is her. She's cute, right? Look how cute she is. It was already open because my mom probably thought it was for her, but I got this new perfume because I wanted like a new like scent. I actually didn't get this one. This is fine, I guess. They definitely gave me around because I got like vanilla coconut, but this is Island Breeze. Maybe I'm tripping up, but I could have sworn I got the one. Ooh. Okay, let's not talk about how I just sniffed the air like that. Um, we're gonna move on. So, complete that I was wrong. That's definitely the one that I ordered. I also got a. Oh, it was supposed to come with a shirt. Gosh darn it! It came with a shirt, but the shirt's not in there, which is fine. Said that it says that it's extreme plumping. So. We'll see if she plumps. Anyways, I actually wasn't expecting to like this so much. It really is like super coconutty, which I'm like super picky about scents. And my mom is always like, you're going to give me asthma. So shout out to mom. This one won't give you asthma. Hopefully. Cross our fingers. It's not going to give you asthma. So that's this. Yeah. Sue me for checking myself out for about two minutes there. Uh, also, don't mind her. I may or may not have checked myself out. If you saw it, you saw it. If you didn't, let's move on. I'm like really hoping right now that I don't have school tomorrow because they were like, oh, maybe we'll delay it and we will not have school at all because it's snowing. It's iffy if we're gonna have school, but I'm really hoping I don't because maybe I'll hit the gym tomorrow. Um, film another YouTube video. My Sorry for so many me editing clips. Um, she did in fact have school tomorrow. And even if she didn't, you know that she would have been sitting in her bed, probably watching TikTok. So let's not lie here. Thank you. My mic, my adapter to my laptop, shout out to Apple. Stop making your products more confusing because it's really annoying. But my adapter was supposed to come today because it's delayed until Thursday. Today's Tuesday, but I have youth group tomorrow, so I'm going to vlog that. Yeah, so I definitely vlogged youth group. Definitely happened. Definitely didn't run out of storage on my phone. And that's going to be super fun. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a get ready with me, get ready for school, make breakfast with me, all that stuff. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I wake up. Just... <laughs> I am so sorry to my future husband who has to, who has to wake up next to that. <laughs> and you know what? I thought I ate. I thought I was giving morning aesthetic. Looks like <laughs> she looks like she went through the rough before she made this. I need to take off this extra mascara. I obviously didn't get off major like skincare last night. So when you do dance, you kind of have to learn how to do a full face of makeup really early on, which is both a good and a bad thing. And now I'm going to blend it out. Okay, so this is what she looks like right now. Process, because I swear it gets better than this. Okay, so this is the mascara that I use. It's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I saw this on like TikTok 
and I like swear by it now. Again, it's the Essence Lash Princess Fall Slash Effect. I have pretty long eyelashes, but this really makes them like be seen, which I love so much. Okay, so now my mascara is done, I'm just gonna go for a ponytail, maybe a braid up the back. If I'm feeling spicy, I don't know how to do that, but maybe I'll try today. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't even know what it looks like. Okay, let me explain what then occurred after she got pulled through the rough. I then went to school and everything was fantastic, awesome, great. May or may not have cried under the desk. We'll talk about that later. I didn't vlog anything because my mom wouldn't let me vlog in the kitchen. Came home and this is now me getting ready for youth group where I answer you guys' questions. Okay, so we are back. I just got back from school, which was not too eventful. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup and then I remembered to film. I had to make corrections for my physics test today. Why does my hair look like that? And it was really funny because she was like, okay, you have to come and make corrections. And I was like, okay, awesome. I really had two things to do. It took me, I cannot even make this up 30 seconds. Um, I love teachers like that, that let you like make up quizzes or tests because it like helps me so much especially with my grades um, but other than that like my day was pretty normal I studied for a little bit and then my major played like war together um i think that's what it's called or like whatever that card game is i don't know you like see if the other person's lying when they put the cards down i ended up actually like basically crying at the end of it um because i am such a sore loser yeah we couldn't tell other than that my day was pretty normal um, i'm getting ready for youth group right now and i thought i would answer some of your questions so some people posted some questions on the questionnaire that i posted on instagram which I really appreciated. So I thought that I would answer some of those. So one of the first questions was advice about how to relax. So relaxing is pretty tough for me. I get pretty nervous. I wouldn't like call it anxiety. I just get pretty nervous sometimes. And so calming down for that is sometimes really hard for me. But lately what I've been doing is kind of just noticing that if I've done it to the best of my ability and I've done everything to the best of my ability, there's nothing to worry about. And if I haven't, then next time I need to do more. Like if I'm about to take a test and I'm like, you know what, I'm worrying, but if, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can change. If there's nothing I can change about a situation, then I just have to tell myself there's no reason to worry. And if I haven't done my best and I just have to realize, you know, next time, do better like do better and understanding that i can't always like blame my environment and i have to take control of that has also been relaxing because a lot of times we think okay well this is out of my hands but if you've done what is in your hands and what you can do then there's no reason to worry because the effect is not your own to choose so if it's something that you know a decision i have to make or something like that that's a bit tougher for me to be able to relax but also um like sort of having like a self-care session i really like to like maybe watch some tv do my skincare i love doing my skincare it's so relaxing for me Cleaning my room isn't relaxing, but sitting in a clean room is. Another question was post high school plans. I am definitely a go-getter. I am definitely applying for colleges this year, which is pretty insane. I've set up my list, but I plan to be an equine surgeon, which is really cool. But my dream is to be able to be the surgeon or one of the head surgeons for horses straight off the uh, Kentucky, Kentucky Derby, which is such a big dream of mine. And I've always wanted to do that. I'll make a college admissions video later on. Um, that'll be like this fall. Another question is, what is your major at Bristol Aggie? Bristol Aggie School, which is an agricultural school, and my major there is large animal science. So I work with livestock as well as equine, and I also sort of minor in small animal science, which is really cool. Another question is, what's one thing that you're praying for in 2023? Just like we had just talked about college. I have my heart set on one school. I'm not even going to go too much in, into it, but I'm really hoping that I get in. Also, I'm just praying that I would be able to, you know, continue to move forward in my faith and hopefully continue this, start a new project and maybe start making a brand or something like that. Another question was, do you ever struggle with believing everything that you read in the Bible? sort of hard for me to really understand who Jesus was and not just see it as like the big picture so like understanding that he truly was a person that he died for your sins that was always like a struggle for mine because even though I knew like he died for our sins it was difficult for me to understand that 
he was fully god but he was also fully man other than that i'm very like a this is the facts this is here and the bible is extremely historically accurate like very that has always brought me so much comfort is we base so much of history off of the bible like it's so historically proven and people don't give that enough credit is that it, it's very proven it's very truthful one of the kind of funnier ones that i got was was talk about ohio so i'm actually gonna get into something kind of serious when i talk about this not just you know talk about ohio um so this is from one of my really good friends that I've met this year. His name's Scotty. Um, shout out Scotty if you're watching this. But he's part of, you know, the sort of group that I have at my youth group. And something I've come to realize in 2023 is how actually important it is to have, you know, friends that, that support you and bring you to God more. I'm sort of seen as like the little sister of that group, I guess. Understanding that like these people always had my back and like, these people understand me and support me and having a group like that is is incredible not only does it does it allow for me to grow but i i'm allowed to support other people and help them to grow too which is obviously amazing and just having a group like that is is so crazy and so fun never had noticed the importance of that until you know this year which is insane because i've been going to that place for so long and finally i was sort of you know adopted into that group which it, it wasn't anything with them it was that i didn't you know understand what what that meant i didn't understand that it was you know supporting each other and and always praying for each other and things like that but those things i couldn't fully comprehend until i was part of a group like that which was amazing but the reason he had sort of said that was because we have a joke that he's from ohio and i don't think ohio people are real so i always tell him that he's not real i always make fun of him and say that ohio is not real but he like got actually mad at me and was like ohio is real so shout out scotty ohio's real love you buddy all of you ohio ohioans what is the word oh ohioans ohioans tell tell you ohioans i see you i haven't actually ever seen any of you except for scotty but he's proven you're real but genuinely having a group that supports you i've come to realize how important it is to have a group that you know is at your church or is just christian and and is there to be able to support you and lift you up and just be gr good role models to you luckily in my group i'm sort of like the little sister i'm a little bit younger than the rest of them i actually didn't know that i was a little sibling until my best friend was like ah, you're like their little sister after i may or may not have caught some feelings anyways then i found out i was a little sister so friend zoned which i honestly see as a good thing because it it's allowed for me to see how people grow and i've been able to see them grow and then be able to step into that which has been something phenomenal for me i like don't know what to do with my hair i'm thinking about just like probably putting like a beanie on or something maybe my hair is like so bad today. I'm like really questioning if I should just not even bother. Now watch me ponder my outfit for the next like two and a half minutes. Okay, this is her, but I don't actually know if I like it like weird to me, but this is what we're wearing with the denim jacket. I don't know if I like the denim jacket. I'm gonna end up wearing it, but comment down below if I should have worn it. You heard me comment down below if I should have worn it. And what I should have worn instead, if you guys disagree, or if you thought it was an awkward little jacket, so. I don't know. She's cute, but she's not like insane. This is her. She's cute, right? Just tell me. Yeah. At this moment, my iPhone storage ran out, so no youth group was filmed. But it was really good. It was an awesome message. So, yeah. Sorry. What is up, y'all? I hope you guys just enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you guys want to be included on what the next videos sort of look like or be in some of those polls, then I want you guys to follow me on Instagram. It's at the Afraidus, at T-H-E-A-V-A-F-R-A-T-U-S. You know it. So, yeah, go give that a follow. I love you guys so much, and I'm so grateful that you guys got to join me on today's journey. And, yeah.
I love y'all so much. I'll see you later.